In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for Pb2 plus and Pb4 plus. This is the lead 2 ion, and this is the lead 4 ion. On the periodic table, when we look at lead, the atomic number, that's the number of protons. So we know the atomic number is 82 for this Pb, for lead here, and the number of protons, that's going to be 82 as well. That's the definition of lead. So we have lead here, 82 atomic number of protons, 82. The only thing that's going to be different between lead and its ions is the number of electrons. Everything else is the same. So this will be 82. Atomic number will always be 82. And there will always be 82 protons for Pb, for lead. It's the electrons that are different. On the periodic table, when we have a neutral element, all the elements on the periodic table listed, they're neutral. The number of protons equals electrons. We don't have a negative or a positive, so we know that this is neutral. So the number of protons equals the number of electrons. 82 protons, 82 electrons. For the lead 2 ion, Pb2+, plus, that positive there, if you lose electrons, electrons are negative, and you become more positive. So the 2+, plus, that means we lost 2 electrons. 80 minus 2, that's 80. For Pb4+, plus, we lost 4 electrons. 82 minus 4 gives us 78. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, a negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. If you need help finding the number of neutrons in the mass number for lead, there's a link in the description to help you do that. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for Pb2 and Pb4. Thanks for watching.